Hi there, my friend. The bench press and incline barbell press are two of the most popular chest exercises in the gym. Both exercises are compound movements, meaning they work multiple muscle groups at the same time. The primary muscles targeted by these exercises are the pectoralis major, chest muscles, triceps brachii, triceps, anterior deltoids, front shoulders, trapezius, traps, serratus anterior, and rhomboids. There are two main approaches to planning the bench press and incline barbell press, together or separately. If you're looking for a more focused chest workout, you can plan the bench press and incline barbell press together on your chest day. This approach has several benefits, increased efficiency, by doing both exercises on the same day, you can save time and get a more efficient workout. Improved chest development, both exercises target the chest muscles from different angles, maximizing muscle stimulation and promoting overall chest development. Reduced risk of overtraining, by spreading out the workload on your chest muscles, you can reduce the risk of overtraining, which can lead to fatigue and hinder progress. If you prefer a full body split routine, you can plan the bench press and incline barbell press on different days. This approach also has its advantages, reduced fatigue, by performing each exercise on a separate day, you give your chest muscles more time to recover between workouts, allowing for better performance and reducing fatigue. Increased focus, dedicating a full day to each exercise allows you to give it your undivided attention, ensuring proper form and maximizing muscle engagement. Reduced risk of overtraining, separating the exercises helps distribute the workload across different muscle groups, reducing the overall strain on your chest muscles and minimizing the risk of overtraining. Ultimately, the decision of whether to plan the bench press and incline barbell press together or separately depends on your individual training goals and preferences. Experiment with both approaches to find what works best for you. Remember to prioritize consistent effort, proper form, and adequate recovery to achieve your fitness goals effectively. To illustrate this point, let's consider an analogy from the word where we're told that and let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap, if we do not give up. Galatians 6 verse 9, this principle applies equally to our fitness journey. Consistent effort, even in small increments, can lead to significant progress over time. Hope this helps. If it does, please upvote, comment, and share. May you be blessed with the power of David and the wisdom of Solomon. Faithfully yours, Strength Training with Gary.